What is going on, everybody? It's Treep from Treep Talks here. And we are here for our week number four picks, locks, and upsets. Now, I've seen a lot of people did pretty well in their picks, uh, just around Twitter, Facebook, things like that. There's a TikTok page I follow called TikTok Granny, and she did exceptional in her picks. One person in the studio I know that did also very exceptional in his picks is a man that won his weekly poll, Larry Fitzgerald. How you doing, brother? I'm doing wonderful. We got got the dub in the other poll. That's <laughs> just how we do it. I don't know. So you've been doing this poll for how long now? Uh, probably three or four, five years. I mean, this has been a poll that's been going on for you, like, family-wise now yeah. for over a decade. Yeah. And it's just fun to play it. It's cool. <laughs> Last year, none of the whole family won anything, so we we broke the streak this week. I got first, and then my other cousin got third, so we basically got the whole board. Fucking family dubs and that bitch. Speaking of that, we got a special guest in the building, speaking of family. Wyatt, dude. We haven't seen you since WrestleMania 32. How the hell are you? Fact erroneous, man. <laughs> oh, man, I've been pretty good. I've been in the same pool that uh, Brelge over here has been in, but I'm yet to place. You haven't placed? How'd you do How'd you do last week? I had six uh, <laughs> six losses. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't good. So, so you're saying you uh, adding you to the round table is not adding an expert analysis, you would say? Not quite. I'm a <laughs> more moderate, moderate player. I tend to watch my Colts and not much else, but... <laughs> Well, at least you're an honest man. Yes. <laughs> we also got Cam in the building. Cam, I was very convinced that the Raiders were going to pull it off against New England. Ah! <laughs> I thought that was going to happen, too. This guy. It was it was a split room when we talked about the Patriots and the Raiders. What did what did you see? I know Rex Burkhead, Sonny Michelle, your running back duo is looking good. So good that... They're looking good. So good you've been trying to pick them up in fantasy, I heard. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Seven rushes or eight rushes for like 120 yards. Yes, please. You know, we really cannot tell you're a Patriots fan from your fantasy team. If you pick up Rex Burkhead and Sony Michelle and the fact that you drafted Tom Brady in the first round. Yes, sir. And Gronk in like the sixth. <laughs> and the fact of the matter is, I don't have Julian, though, this year. People are going to be listening to me saying that thinking I'm kidding. It's uh, <laughs> not a joke. It is 100% factual. I'll screenshot and I'll send it to you. <laughs> I, I remember it was it's funny, everybody was here except Cole did the draft and Cole just sends me a message was like, did he mean to pick Tom for right <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Cole, he's in the building too. What's up, man? Uh, nothing much. Just hanging out. Dude, Pittsburgh and Houston, you put the nail in their 0-3 coffin. We did, we did. We were looking pretty good, man. Our offense looking good, our defense looking really good. Big Ben's big, arms start big ben, to come loose loosening again. up. TJ Watt is. TJ Watt's a dog. He is a dude. dog, man. He's making he's his in case. Ev- he's in every. He's play. making his case for NFL Defensive Player of the Year. I think right now, I mean, who else can you really argue with that? I mean, I think TJ Watt's the first player that comes to my mind when we talk about this year's Defensive Player of the Year. Stephen Gilmore, baby. <laughs> Always in the conversation. Mm hmm. So I, I set a bold prediction in my video, or in our video last week, and I was pretty hammered, not going to lie. And I, <laughs> and I said that the Kansas City Chiefs were going to go 16-0. and I think that was a pretty good fucking prediction, guys. <laughs> I, I, like, I'm not even going to cap. Like, you might think that's it a for statement. Well, it's just the Chiefs. I mean, how can you bet against them? Nobody's going to want to bet against that team. You can't really, man. Dude, even the, you listen to the announcers. I'm betting against them. A straight 16 and no charge, huh? I'm, nope. I'm thinking, we'll, we'll get into that when we talk about the Chiefs, but we'll fucking, I just don't, there's no feasible way in my imagination the Chiefs lose. Uh, yeah. Especially with, like, injuries to their division, too. Like, like even, like, like... If they're gonna have like key like tough division games like they had with like the Chargers, they're not really gonna have that with like the Broncos. Von Miller's gone, their offense is gone. Everybody's fucking Yeah, gone. so it's just like it's not really gonna be Dude, close. even the announcers, dude, during the game against the Ravens, who's supposed to be the second best team in the AFC, 
they have a hard time trying to like keep people like say, there or just say say something like mm-hmm. well i mean you got patrick mahomes all this first round talent running around everywhere i mean clyde edwards hilaire i think it's just speed stud. it's just speed he's speed, the second speed. best running back in the rookie running back in the nfl right now but behind james robinson of course of course <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, he's, I will make that case, bro. Argue with Fitz. I'll no, make, I think that's fair. That's he, fair. Do, he does it all. But I really think that my um, alcoholism showed in this in these picks this week <laughs> as we reveal the point totals for week number three. I'm going to go first since I have been in last place three weeks in a row. Now... When I first counted up these points, I was going backwards. The first four <laughs> games, I had less points for this week than I had heading in to these games. Yikes. So I lost my lock. I lost my upset. And I ended with less points than both of you in the same amount of points that Cameron had, or the other way around. I had 22 points now. <laughs> I had 23, actually. Yeah, yeah. Whoever was tied with 23 and whoever had 22. I had 22. Yeah, he had 22. Yeah, yeah so I have 22 points heading into week number four. And you got... Ouch. So you got five? Yep. That's the worst week we've probably ever seen on this oh, episode. That is, geez. man. That ouch, is, ouch, there might be a four-point week, but that's damn... Damn close. That's damn bad. That, it was like six. It was it was like six games, but since like I got the lock wrong, it was four points. Wow. Yeah. Yikes. So that's that's just where the point system fucks you. Mm-hmm. True. So now after my embarrassment, I'm gonna wear the fucking cone of shame right now. We're gonna have, we're gonna have to make a cone of shame. You're gonna stand in the corner for Isn't there an empty beer box over there? We need to we need to save You would think there we would be. be. We do need to get like a bag or yeah, something. Yeah we need to save an empty like a really shitty beer box that none of us all of us agree is the shittiest well, like beer. A, we need to find like an empty thirty rack of yeah. Bud Light. Well, I could probably like get a brown bag. Yeah. Yeah. Swim or, out to yeah, the or a yeah or a liquor black brown bag that says I'm ass. Loser. Yeah. Yeah. Loser, loser of the like week. And it needs to be like something like that. And then like the that's L a thumb. Week. We should change the thumbnail Bitch for made. the picture of me, Colton, and Bryce to just To the L of the week. Yeah. To the L of the week. <laughs> totally. That is a great idea. Yeah. I like it. That's keep us to it. We'll do that next week. Yep. Oh, by the way, before we dive into it, Colge and Fitz don't know. The camera does. It was in my last video, but we're gonna announce it in this one as well. Just want to give a big congratulations to one of my OG subscribers, Christopher Columbus, got engaged. Yes, he oh, did. yeah. Let's yeah. go, Christopher yeah. Columbus. Oh, yeah. I saw Appreciate that on the you, Insta bro. Slam. I know, dude. I was so excited. That's I was awesome. actually, I, I said it in my intro of the Bengals preview, and Cameron mm-hmm. happened to walk in. I'm like, hey, Cameron, guess what? Kept it in the intro. Nice. That's awesome. That's but great. Uh, big congrats in the Super middle of the video. Super proud. Larry. I was in third place, so I guess I'll go next with the points. Yes, sir. Uh, we try to keep the common trend, you know, get Fitz amount of points. But unfortunately, we got 10 instead Whoa. of 11 this week. I missed both my upset and my lock. I locked the Cardinals, and the Lions pulled the upset in the desert. Oh, uh. And then the Giants. I just wanted to take a chance. The Lamb, we're getting rid of teams, you know. That's and, really uh, gonna. gonna they be sucked against the Niners, so that was just a bad pick. But I got it done. Ten, ten points. Not too bad. I'm at thirty-two points. Thirty-two points. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so now, out of the two tied place, first place winners, who wants to go? First? I'll go first. So I'll respectfully let yeah. him go for it. Oh, dude, we're gonna he's so, gonna set the tone. Colts is all about setting the tone. <laughs> Last week I got my lock wrong. Thanks, Bryce. I'm so sorry. And I got <laughs> my upset wrong. It's and been, but but us. I guess the tie for us we got an extra point for that. Yep. I I wasn't aware, so I had to retally the points. So I. Advanced eight points and I'm at thirty-one. 
31 points. Kind of a rough week for you, Coles. I mean, week. the worst week for you. Though, yeah, so because I was like at 11 and 11 yeah. or something like that, 11, 12, something. So, yeah, I mean, an all right week, but not my favorite, yeah. not my best. You just, just got to learn and rebound. Live and let die week. or whatever, however life's a garden, dig it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever they say. Yeah, I mean, it's, whatever they say in it's Idaho. Gonna be, it's going to be a bench now with like teams getting removed from the locks and the upsets. Yeah. And that's going to be... It makes it tougher to choose. Mm-hmm. It might just have to be like, after a while, it's going to turn into just based off record. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is an upset because of the record. Yeah. yeah. Not because of the talent of the team. Mm-hmm. All right, Cam, let's hear it. You know, I'm not the one to gloat or anything. You are exactly the one to quote. Yes, I am. <laughs> that is why. That literally are... is your description. So, uh, <laughs> Juice me. We uh, tied last week. Yeah, we were at 23. And last week. Uh, this week we are not tying. Oh. And uh, <gasps> you're not going to be in the lead this week either, son. That is me with a whopping 35 points. There you go. 35. I got the total of 12 points. Point. Very good week Correct. for you. Much I got my lock right, but my upset wrong. And then I just went off. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great week for me. And this is my first year being fully into it all the time. And I honestly think I'm going to take the championship this year. Take the ship? Ooh. I think, I, I think I'm calling it. This is a bold take. I think I'm going to keep coming. Because last week, you guys chose a lot of teams that I didn't choose. That I, there were the opposite teams to me. And I was like, nah. And you guys were calling me out for it, saying it was bad <laughs> decisions, saying this teams are better. And I was like, nah, this team. And I was saying good points, but y'all weren't listening. I'll tell you, in the end of the day, though, in all of these that I've done, I've ended up on top. Playoffs. <laughs> we want to do the season so, last year or even this year. So, so just because you got three point lead doesn't mean I get too confident yet. So let's go. Oh, he's got thirty one. I got thirty two, brother. Oh, you got thirty two. <laughs> yeah, doesn't keep matter. It fun. Doesn't matter. That's okay. I That's have okay. Yeah, That's Tre- okay. And Tree will make the biggest comeback the we ever hey, seen. Hey, in I'll take that we all day, history. baby. You can win by one point, or you can win by a million points. Winning's winning, baby. Dream Talks makes the ultimate comeback. It's staged on the wild channel. <laughs> All right, Wyatt, this is your first time in the studio doing these picks. After you've seen kind of that uh, competitive nature, what's uh, what's your take? Who do you who do you think's gonna take uh, the, home the picks championship this year? The picks championship, huh? Yeah. Well, um, I know Bryce does a lot of good picks. You know, he uh, he's he's a, he's a guy that uh, rarely misses more than. Three, I think he missed more Strike this ever. last week in the... Uh... He's always in it. Actually, no, he won it. That's right. That's right. I was there for that. <laughs> <laughs> I was there for that one. Not this year, baby. Not He'll this probably year. be winning at once. But I don't know about twice. <laughs> probably not twice. <laughs> <laughs> the year 2020 might belong to the douchebag. We'll yes, sir. Right, yes, sir. Right over here to Cam. We will see, see you in the Super Bowl. You're here. <laughs> right here. We'll see, and then we're gonna see. We're gonna see what we can do. About I hope that. me and him tie in points, and we have to go to the playoffs for. Oh, well, this continues in the playoffs, boy. Oh, no, that's true. Yeah. 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 Okay. Isn't points like doubled? Oh yeah, we'll, yeah, cross we'll, 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 we'll enhance cross it. That, yeah. yeah, we'll yeah. cross that bridge when we get to it. We're only in week four, so here we go. It's time to see if Cameron takes. I mean, Cameron maintains his lead, or if anybody scoops in and takes the lead. Thursday night football on NFL Network. Jets and the Broncos. (laughs) (laughs) The snooze fest of the week. Dude, I'm going to give a big shout out to the Broncos starting quarterback, Brett Rippon. (laughs) <laughs> because he's a he went to North Central because he's better than Sam Darnold. <laughs> <laughs> he went to North Central. That's in Spokane, and he went to Boise State. So, shouts out to the kid. Uh, I'm gonna let Wyatt start this one off. I mean, first picks video. You might as well start off this pick. Uh, you got the Jets and the Broncos on Thursday night. Who do you got? Uh, you know, I was thinking about the Jets because uh, I have a crackpot older brother. Who was really high on him, like the la- like the last to call him was like, 
I talk to him on the phone, and he's like, man, man. It's like, I'm thinking about picking the Jets. And I'm like, man, the Jets? It's like, what do you see in the Jets? <laughs> so um, I, uh, I pick straight up. I straight up pick Denver. Yeah. I'm going to ride Denver. Brad Ribbon, dude. Hopefully Bortles can find himself in there. Yep. You know, I was really hyped for him last week, but he didn't. Even, he wasn't even active, so I was very upset. Cam, who do you got? You know, this is a tough choice for me because they're I don't. Garbage. Yeah, they're both really bad. I honestly don't like this matchup at all. Uh, I can't remember is what's his face uh, Von Miller. Is he, he's 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 out. out for the season. Yeah, he's out for the season. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, but. I don't know. I still don't like that Jets offense. I don't like the way Don Arnold is playing, so I'm going to have to go with the Broncos on this one there. All right, Fitz. I'm, yeah. going, I'm sticking with the the main – keeping it going here. I'm going with the Broncos. Uh, Broncos have more injuries even happened. Jarrell Casey, the, their person they traded for from the Titans, injured out for the season again, him too. But I just think the Jets suck badly. And uh, you can't rely on a 37-year-old back to carry the whole offense. That's what's been happening in the past few weeks. I like Noah Font. I think they'll make enough plays. I think Brett Rippon might get benched for the boat. I think the boat comes out, has 250 yards and two touchdowns <laughs> after <laughs> halftime. Yikes. After the halftime benching that Rippon gets. Because he's going to get picks. ripped right into by Vic Fangio <laughs> at halftime for how bad he's playing. Yikes, man. But I'm picking with the Broncos. I've never heard one. Gotta go with the ball. Cole, should you got? You know, the Broncos are bad, but the Jets are even worse. I'm gonna have to pick the Broncos, man. It's gonna be a snooze fest. It's gonna be like three to two. Three to <laughs> it's two. three to two. A field goal does say I that'd be a game. I'd, <laughs> that would be a game. I'd watch it. <laughs> dude, that's a burner, dude. That's yeah. soccer. I would I would kill for I would a three watch to it, two games. Dude, I would watch it or just two to zero. Dude, I'd be watching it just to be like, are they gonna ever get field goal right now? <laughs> it's gonna be like it's gonna Oh they set, will a couple times, but they'll miss. It's, it's gonna, gonna be the game that set the new uh record for most punts. Right. Most punts in one game. We'll have a field goal attempt. Fourteen punts apiece from each punt. Easy. So I also went on record to say that the Jets were like the worst football team I ever seen play in my entire existence in the last pick video. Sam Darnold is not an okay quarterback. He's not average. He's garbage. The Jets were garbage before the injuries. The Jets are garbage now. The Broncos are going to have the boat, hopefully. They also got the Spokane native. If they don't, I'm going to take the Jets. I also like to say that Ooh. I said four yards per carry for Frank, and it happened. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna pick the Jets, huh? I'm Why? gonna take the Jets. Uh, I'm gonna say. Did you say last week that they're gonna go 0 and 16 or something? Did you just ruin like... the, the star yeah, they Frank? Don't even, they don't need two <laughs> drop the well, you know what? Frank Gore had four yards per carry. Let me help you out here. <laughs> Frank Gore had four yards per carry. They don't need receivers. They just feed him the rock. I could see it being a 14 to three game. And the Jets get her done. I think the Jets do enough to beat the Broncos. <laughs> I hate you. Why? The I star frame you. is over. <laughs> dude, dude, after that you rant, know, I honestly you, thought there was going to be a lot of star frames at the very beginning. But yeah. you probably are going to fuck them all, aren't you? Dude, <laughs> dude, dude, hey, these are the games that I need to pick right now he's to young, get back yeah. into the league. He is literally <laughs> down <laughs> nine. So he's like, let me just pick everything against you and hope mm. some of these hit. I, and this is one of them, dude. Like, don't tell me this isn't one of those that could. That, yeah, that could, it, it could happen. And he's basically the mediator of the weekly pick, so he just goes to us and then he's like, <laughs> yeah, like, All right. so I'll go after time. what they say, yeah. this is the team I'm gonna choose. What a guy! Changes it on his phone. Uh, no, dude, I kept that on the phone. That was that was uh, I had that I had that submitted. All right, the next game of the week, we got the Saints going up against the Detroit Lions. You know what? I'm gonna have Larry start this one off because the the Lions ruined the undefeated season last week. Yeah. Do you think Detroit is gonna? Get this done against New Orleans, or do you like New Orleans in this one? You know, here's the thing: is Detroit did a really good job against us, but I think it was just because we let a lot of things get to our head. Kyler played awful football; it was all on him. He stared down the receivers. He got baited twice. Jamie Collins, former Patriot, got one, read him, yeah. and Akuda 
read him like a book on one of the throws to Hopkins. So he just played bad. I think the Lions, though, looked really good. AP had six yards per carry going into the fourth quarter when he, I mean, our defense is going to know. Favorite, your, fa- your favorite thing is old running backs. He had 22 That's carries. 86% of the backfield was Adrian Peterson last week. 22 carries. And he looked really good. He had six yards per carry until fourth quarter when, of course, we already know they're going to run it, trying to keep the ball. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm i taking the Lions as the upset of the week. I think the Saints don't have the offense without Michael Thomas. They're not keeping it there. They're keep, they're competitive, but I think the Lions are going to re- really rally off this. I think Akuda's going to battle back after struggling. He got his first career INT, and I think – AP gets 100 yards, a touchdown, and the Lions win. Gets that shit done. Colts, what do you think about that? I think the Lions dub was a fluke. Yeah. Man. Dude, I'm all about the Cardinals this year. I'm, I am too. I like them. But, uh, so I'm just going to choose the Saints. I, I just think it was a fluke, and I don't think the Lions are good. I wish Matthew Stafford was good. I do too. Well, he is good. He's Man, just, I wish the best for the guy, but he is not really that great. Galladay just well, came okay. back against let Arizona, me, me, had 57 in touchdown. He threw a touchdown with a broken collarbone. It was like 40 yards. Can you do that? No, I didn't say I was a good quarterback. He <laughs> He's not the NFL QB. But let me ask you this, Colch. If Matthew Stafford had like the same little stint of a season Ryan Tannehill had, would your would your dick be as hard for Matthew Stafford as it is for Tannehill, or do you think Tannehill is the only one that can get it done for you? Tannehill is the only one that can get me rock hard right now. <laughs> Tannehill and Big Ben. <laughs> Dude, stop. What about Minshew? Uh, I mean, like, I, I like I Semi- like the guy. I love Stafford. I hope the best for him, but I just... I would. He's, know, always put, Stafford he's is- usually putting it not a good situation. If Stafford made a playoff run, man, that would that would warm my heart. That would warm my heart also. But he's like just an average QB. He's an average Joe. Cam, who do you got in this one? You know, I'm going to have to go with the Saints on this one there, uh, Captain. Uh, I'm <laughs> gonna, I just believe they're just going to go with the run game. They're going to stick with the run game with Kamara. And, you know, even with Michael Thomas being gone, I don't think it's that – I mean, yeah, it's a big hit. But, I mean, like they still got a lot of receivers on their, their depth throughout. They still got a lot of – players to choose from, so I mean, like, I might have to go with the Saints on this one. And I mean, Breeze is still Hoffer, man. He's still Drew Breeze. He is a Hoffer, but his number one receiver was Kamara. You shut that down. I think Collins can cover that up. I think the Lions got a chance. Why did he up? You know, um, it's funny, I actually have the Lions kicker, uh, Prater, <laughs> yeah. uh, He's a beast. On, my, on my fantasy football team, and I was like... Bryce is like, man, I finally got a win in fantasy football. And he got all disheveled, walked out of the room. And I was like, I don't understand. And I was like, oh, wait. No, I understand. No, he now. said, he said, he came into the room and he said, I knew Prater was going to hit a game winning field goal. <laughs> so that's, that's, that is and what I said. I, said, I did say, I knew yeah. Prater was going to win a game ending yeah. field goal. That is exactly what I did yeah. say. And he did it. And um, I think that's what's that's gonna be the situation here. It's gonna be, uh, I think it's gonna be a lot of what Cam said over here, Cameron. I, th- I think he's right on right on uh, what he said about Breeze. Breeze is always a beast. Breeze is always a go. But I think the special teams for the Lions, their defense, and their kicker is gonna win them a game, and it's gonna be a uh, sight to see. Well, so we got two for Detroit. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the Saints too. Um, Easy pick there. I think this was a, this was a good a good situation to take the Lions to kind of do one of those. You know, it happens, it happens. Upset, yeah. But you know, I don't know. I don't know if I'm in too deep right now. I just need to do that with a couple of games. And and I think it, right. for me too I'll with this this whole new rule that we're doing with eliminating teams, I just kind of like to take a chance on some of those teams that yeah. maybe yeah. are kind of struggling or mm-hmm. it's a game that you wouldn't expect from them. Because the Giants held their own for a couple quarters there with the Niners until. I mean, they did it with fourth. us too, honestly. Yeah. So it's just taking just a chance on people. Out of the water. Yep. That was a tough one to watch at the end. All right, coming up next, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going up against the Los Angeles Chargers. Cam, why don't you start this one off? You know, I'm going to have to choose the Buccaneers on this one there, bud. You know, I'm going to have to. Uh, the Chargers, they just don't got it in them. 
with uh, Hubert, uh, he, Hubert, I don't even know, Justin? Herbert. Yeah, Herbert. Justin. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even Justin. Care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't even like, know. <laughs> like, this guy, he's honestly not that, he's not that good. He's not well developed. And against this defense, this especially against this passing defense, oh, this pass rush, oh, they are killers. They're going to have to blitz you and they can sack you as much as they can. They are the number one pat, rushing pass rushing defense in the league, and they were last year towards the end of the league. They got a killer defense, and they're just getting better and better by the week goes. And I honestly think they are just one person, just one key away from being a playoff team, and I feel like they're going to trade and get someone to be a better team. And just to, just on that deep, and just a snap, and it's just going to be deep, lights out. It's going to be great. I can't wait. So I'm going to have to choose the Bucks on this one. Very, very good analysis on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers there. Cole, who do you got? I'm choosing the Bucks as my lock this week. Oh, there we go. Getting spicy with Tampa Bay. What you like? TV twelve. He's just gonna, he's gonna light it up. I don't really like the Chargers this year, man. You never really like the Chargers. Nah. Yeah, they, they don't do it for they you. They don't do it for me, man. You know, they're my dad's team. Yeah, that's about it. They don't get it done for me though. No. Get it done for the old man. They definitely don't even get me to a half chub person. No, nah, like thirteen percent. And that's why I'm also going to take Tampa Bay. I think this one was a an easy one for me, so I don't really got too much to say about that one. Uh, Fitz, who you got? I'm also taking Tampa Bay. I just think TB12's lighting it up. I like how we talked last week about how Gronk was going to start running fades on the goal line. And they did start, and they have started to throw to the tight end a lot more now. But they did start throwing to the tight end, but. They ran fades with somebody else last week. Mike Evans, two touchdowns, two receptions, two, two yards. yards. What two fade beast. routes. <laughs> Fantasy Un- points. Both fade <laughs> routes, unbelievable. Of course, you just isolate somebody, throw it out there to a 6-5 wide out, and it works. I think that's kind of the same type of crap they're going to do this week. Chargers are bad. Uh, Herbert looked good against the Chiefs, but it wasn't because it was because they were not planning to play him. Now that everybody's got a game plan ready for this guy, I don't think he's going to do as well. I think Tampa Bay beats him by 20. All right, Wyatt, who do you got? Ooh, uh, well, uh, I, I would probably have to go with, uh, let, let's see, hole nine Brady, you know. Uh, uh, Tom Brady, I'd probably have to go with him. All right, hold on. Can I pause you right there? Sure. What do you have to say? That is going to be the first... Star frame five dollars charity of your choice. No, ooh, on. ooh. Oh man, yeah. I, I, it def, it definitely has to be Brady. I, I, I really don't see see much in, in the Chargers. You know, it's uh, it's not the Chargers from ten years ago. You know, they're they're not San Diego anymore. They're not, they're not <laughs> a strong team. I don't think those days have uh, have left them. I think I think Ron Burgundy would agree. Yeah, they're just not the same team since they left. Sunday. I just have to comment about your uh, your your whole construct here together. You guys have not missed a pickums for this whole this whole season. Nope. Or last year. All we right. Pretty well. Well, for most. Well, even though fairly, since I, I have missed out on the fir- first weeks, I'm just going to inform you that the Lions are not my lock. Okay. They're not my upset, is what I mean. All right, gotcha. They're not the upset. I got gotcha. you. You got to clarify. Okay. Yep, absolutely. Hundred percent. I got you. All right, coming up next, we got a game that I think is tailor made for the quarterback in this game. We got the Cincinnati Bengals going up against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'll kick this one off. Joe Burrow is gonna fucking kill us. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is no if, ands, or buts about it. Joe Burrow is coming into this game 0-2-1. You're telling me he is not going to get his first win against the Jacksonville Jaguars this week. It's too fucking easy. <laughs> it's too goddamn easy. The kid easy. has a tie before a win. Yeah. Yeah, he really had a tie before a win as well. Did he really? Yep, I week even... one against the Lions. Oh my god, that's <laughs> to true. To start the season, so yep. it happens to all of them. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to take the Bengals to beat the Jaguars because I love Minshew. I hope we I hope we turn it around, but dude, it's just it's it's almost it's almost like a fairy tale. It's 
like a, it's a given. It's a given to Joe Burrow. Why? Who do you got? Um, uh, you know, uh, Minshew. Uh, honestly, fairly, they uh, they decimated our team week one or or whatever. But uh, the Jags, the Jags have started getting shaky. You know, the year they, uh, you know, it's like getting a factory car and then. Then, then, then you know the check engine light comes on, and you're like, mm. "Hey, what the heck's going on?" And then you realize, "No, holy shit!" You know, there's no, <laughs> there's the, no wi- the wires are burned away, and the freaking the raccoons in the trunk. You know, it's just, <laughs> it's just fun. shit's gone wild. <laughs> yeah, that, that's you know, so, like the most perfect analogy for the Jaguars in the last fifteen. I years. think I think they can be a good team, but they won't. I I think they maybe need a more better direction. I, uh, you know, I feel like they have pieces there. It's just uh, they're not coming together. So who are you taking? Uh, that I would probably be taking the Bengals. All right, Cameron, who do you got this one? Definitely gonna have to choose the Bengals on this one. This is gonna, they're gonna catch their first dub. Uh, Joe Burrow's just gonna show the Jaguars who they truly are, like how they were, who they were truly shown last week. They're not a good team. And the Bengals are barely better than a good team. But they're going to show the Jaguars how shit they are. What a barely mediocre football team looks like. And I cannot wait until Joe Burrow goes off and he's just sitting sitting on that bench smoking that cigar again like he did, at, like he did after that LSU win. Just, ooh. Getting his first NFL win. Culture to go. Man, I don't want to choose it, but I got to choose the Bengals. You know, the Jags did it for me week one when I chose them for my upset. I was like, hey, man, this is looking good. <laughs> and then you guys get fucked up by the Dolphins, which was just it was kind of embarrassing. It was I'm not, so not going to lie to you, man. It was so hard that to hurts, watch. man. watched my reactions after that, I was not nice. And uh, Joe Burrow's going to get his first NFL dub. It's almost too easy. Larry, who do you got? Well... Last time Tree was so down on this Jaguars team, it was against the Colts, week one. It was, that's true. And week one, Gardner came out and threw 21 for 22, and just had a lights out day. Yeah, he did pretty phenomenal. Did, uh, I, I, as the Colts fan, I had to admit, I mean, you will see me on, on you will see me on a video on on this channel right now of me dressed, uh, freaking shoelace to to earlobe. Of cult shit and all that, all that stuff, and you know, uh, you know, I was a, uh, I wasn't a sore loser then, so I just hope that Trevin isn't a sore loser, you know, on week seventeen when we beat their ass. Fair enough. We'll probably be out of playoff contention by then. But Fitz, who do you got? Um, you know, and I, I think with Tree being down on the team and it going well, week one. And everybody going with this whole train of Burrow. I think it's going to be a shootout. (laughs) I'm going to say both these young guys show it what's up. They say, hey, we're the next star QBs around here. I think 400 yards from both of them. But I think Gardner throws for four TDs. LaVisca Chenault. With four interceptions. Nope. LaVisca Chenault. He's got two two touchdowns coming his way. And I think the Jags get it done, just barely. They're going to sneak one out. And I, I like Burrow. I think Burrow's a Kyler Murray. I think this team's struggling. It doesn't have enough pieces around him. They're going to win a little bit. They're going to lose a lot. But <laughs> he's going to get better with a better team next year. Mm-hmm. Well, Bryce prevented the star frame for the Jags, so I'm sure, I'm sure the people that went to this timestamp or watched this all the way through are, are really going to appreciate how how you did that for them so coming up next we got the texans and the vikings and man cold is there any fucking fan base that might have it worse than the texans and the vikings right now honestly no man because the texans have it man that they, they're like on the brink of being a good team but they have zero wins they are a good team they just they had the toughest draw they, they, the they have three they did weeks. they man. did have a very tough one it was the gauntlet absolutely it was the it was gauntlet. the start of the gauntlet and you and you know it's so tough too these teams don't have no preseason they can't get warmed up mm-hmm. and they have to run through he had the texans especially have to run through a gauntlet of teams yeah 
I mean, through three weeks. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's hard. So that's why I think the Texans are going to pick up their first dub against the Vikings. You know, I love the Vikings, and I hate doing that, but I think the Texans are looking like the better zero-win team. <laughs> Cam, what do you got? You know, I really like both these teams going on right now. You know, the Texans, they're just, they are they have a really, they had a really tough start, really tough start in the division, like not in their division, but really tough start in their schedule. And yet again, they got another tough week against the Vikings. Yes, the Vikings are 0-3, but the Vikings are a dog team. They not play. a bad 0-3 the, team. These yeah. are probably the two best 0-3 yeah. teams. Like, to ever start a season, these are probably the two best 0-3, 0-3 like, teams like, to ever they play. They are like, dogs. Mm-hmm. I would disagree. Um, <laughs> Is there a specific matchup? You remember that you could bring up. I'm not going to bring up a specific matchup. You're like, dude, the 03 Cardinals and the 03 Panthers. I'm just saying, I would disagree because I think the Vikings are hot hot garbage. I think this team is a shell of what it used to be. It's nothing as good as it used to be. They showed that they couldn't keep their defense together, they couldn't do anything against Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry. They came back, they won it. Stefan Goskowski kicked six field goals. I mean, if they're getting six chances to kick field goals, that means they made it into their possession six times. Mm -hmm. This defense is god-awful. The Texans are, I think, David Johnson, three all-purpose touchdowns. He's having a catching touchdown and two rushing, and I think he goes for at least 150. I'm taking the Texans. The Vikings are bad. I do like Justin Jefferson. I think he fills in nice for Diggs' offense, but I just don't think the offense keeps up with how bad the defense is performing. And that's where I'm going to have to go with the Vikings there, son. Ooh. That's where I'm still going to be in the lead. <laughs> why, why, why do you like the Vikings this week? Just, just the way they're going to play. I, I, I trust them. got a feeling? I got a feeling in my balls, bro. Ooh. That's balls. the first feeling pick we've had this week. Yeah, I know. Feeling pick, dude. Hashtag feeling picks in the chat down below. Freaking, uh, I was going to come up with a 0 oh, 3 example. I remember one time in 2014, the Browns, <laughs> the Browns and the Jags played, and it was a 28 to 24 Jags win. Chad Henney against Brandon Wheaton. And Chad Henney threw a last second touchdown pass over a rookie Joe Hayden. No! <laughs> Cecil Shorts, the third, caught the touchdown. Is that when you jumped through my ceiling fan? No, no, that's what we, that's what be Andrew Luck and the Colts okay, in 2012. Yeah. Okay. It was still Cecil. That was Cecil Shorts on the slant route. Fucking MJD had like 150 yards. Yeah. But uh, Colt, back to the Vikings and the Texans. Who do you got? This I already week? picked. Oh, did you? Monday? I started it off. It's me. I, did they, I feel like we got a little off track of this one. Why? Who do you got? Sorry about Well, that. listen here. Um, so, uh... This is the uh, this is a battle here, you know. There must be a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to be a loser. Someone four. has to That's lose. Not true, though. <laughs> what if they tie? That's true. Oh, three and one. You can pick the first ever tie in. You see, That's not really that would be <laughs> that would be an absolute nightmare situation. But you know, I try. I ask myself all the time. I was like, so is the NFC East? Or is, I'm sorry, is the NFC North, are, are they a sham? Are they are they actually good? Is that an actually a stacked division or is it a facade? And, well, this year, for this year i got to say it is stacked. Our, um, the Texans division is not stacked and they oh. still suck. Oh. So I'm going to have to go yeah. with um, the Vikings. Because oh, you know they've had just bad luck. They're not a bad team. Fair enough. I, I'm going to take the Texans as well, but to that point, I would almost go on a limb and say the AFC North. I mean, the AFC South. Maybe not, never mind. I was going to say the AFC South might be better than the NFC North right now, but then you got, like, the Bear, Bears. Bears are three defense. Yeah, yeah, Bears are undefeated. Always, I was, <laughs> in my head, Bears. I was thinking Packers, Lions, Vikings, and I was like, oh, but the Bears. I mean, you, you had Big Dick Nick in the AFC South last year, so yeah. there you go. Win football games. Coming up next, we got the Seattle Seahawks and the Miami Dolphins. Cameron, take this one away for us. 
Even though I hate Seattle, but I hate Miami even more. So Ooh. I'm going to have to go to Seattle. But I'm going to have to go with a lock on Seattle. Because Ooh. Seattle's defense, in the way Russell is playing, Ooh. God damn, is that looking? Is he looking good this year? He is making every rookie receiver look amazing. This is DK's next second year in the league, and he's making him a threat. Top, over the over the top threat. I mean, like, god damn. He's making uh, good kids look foolish this year, so I'm going to have to go with the Hawks. He did look good, but that fumble he had at the one-yard line was hilarious. <laughs> he pulled into Sean Jackson. That was that was funny. Still beats it out though. Cold shoot you got. I'm gonna have to agree with Cameron, man. The Seahawks look just too good, man. MVP status for Russ. The Seahawks are gonna win pretty hardcore. It's gonna be like twenty eight to three. Bets who you got? Well, I just want to say something that I think that it's hilarious that Cam's always got the hate on his division. Last week we wanted to stick with the star frame against the Dolphins, and we all paid for it. <laughs> Look at what the Dolphins did to us. Yeah, yeah fuck I'm just telling you. But this week I think it's right. We're going to get the, I'm pretty sure, the star frame against the Dolphins because I think Russell Wilson throws for six touchdowns. I thought you were going to say 600 yards. And no, I think six I touchdowns, like, and I think that's going to. He already has the record for fourteen touchdowns through three weeks. He's about to have the record for twenty. Yeah, through I'm four. just saying, at Albertsons, if Russell Wilson throws six TDs, someone's going to win groceries for life. Well, you know, no all way. I'm, that ass. <laughs> that's that what it says on the commercials. It says if Russell Wilson throws six touchdowns, one person's going to get free groceries for life. If he throws five, you're going to get free groceries for. Ten years or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's just insane. one person. <laughs> but the, could you imagine? I'm not just having saying. To worry about I that? think it's actually going to happen because they have let Russell cook this year. He looks absolutely wonderful. I think he throws six touchdowns it before the fourth quarter, and they pull him. We're going to see their backup this week. So you think someone's going to win free groceries for life? <laughs> and Russ will sit this on the bench by Bryce's the end of the game. Bryce's bold prediction of the week is <laughs> someone's going to win free, free groceries, groceries for, for life. life. Somebody's, winning, yep, somebody's winning free groceries for life, and Russell Wilson will be on the bench. Just, oh, just, just so you know, very we are not giving out bold. free groceries <laughs> for life. This is Albertson, Safeway Corporations, that's doing that. Not us. <laughs> not treat dogs. <laughs> I do not have the, the, the money. free groceries. Just fucking <laughs> for life. buy your groceries for life. <laughs> but that is Bryce's bold prediction of the week. That's some respect to Albertsons, though, man. That's True. a family-owned business, I think. Oh, so coming up, the SARS. No, no, not, not coming, not coming up next. But uh, it's, it comes down to uh, me and Wyatt for the potential only second star frame of the video. Wyatt, who do you got in this Dolphins well, Seahawks matchup? So here's the thing: um, there is a east side to the Mississippi. <laughs> there is a west side to the Mississippi. If you look over to the east side of the Mississippi, you will see a absolute dog fucking. Uh, dog infested park. <laughs> dog park of d- vicious, blood thirsty dogs. Okay. Okay. All right. So there's there there is a there is a lot to be said about east of the Mississippi, but west of the Mississippi lies the Seahawks, okay. and they are the best team currently. The west side of the Mississippi. <laughs> so if I can say with a positively absolute fact, the number one team right now in syndicated football television is the Seattle Seahawks. Can I just add something? So the I North the Forty. <laughs> the North Forty and Houston is the biggest North Forty on this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> We're just throwing out fun facts in our weekly facts, pickups. Facts about Lewis that they never knew or cared to know. North Korea. This is the biggest. Yeah, it's, it's like the second biggest on 40. This side is of the, the Is the biggest one on this side of the Mississippi. I can just tell this podcast is going to take forever. Oh, dude, we're actually not even that far along right now. Anyway, Wyatt, so you're taking the Seahawks. Absolutely. Yep. All right. Uh 
Good. Think, uh, who are you picking, Travis? Good, good, good laugh there. I am going to be taking the Seahawks for the second. Star free! $5 charity of your choice. Um... Yeah, all that talk about the Seahawks being the best team this side of the Mississippi really kind of influenced my pick and I think just, you know, made it easy overall. Coming up next, we got a game that I think is one of the toughest ones to decide. And I know it was a game for Colts that was very, very tough for him as well. So I'm going to let him take it off. We got the Steelers. We got the Tennessee Titans. Colts, who you got? So, two undefeated teams. Only one can be a winner. <laughs> it's the complete opposite of the Texans. <laughs> if you want to do football, uh, watch this one. That was almost like a hype problem. We need the like background music. Do, do, do. <laughs> but I'm picking the Steelers, man. Our offense, top offense in the league. One of the top offenses. Our defense, one of the top defenses in the league. And I think we can get it done against Ryan Tannehill. I want to see TJ Watt. My bold prediction of the week, TJ Watt gets... Three sacks. Taylor, pick. Taylor the one, not playing. When he gets three sacks, he also gets a pick. And that's on God. TJ Watt making his case even further for defensive player of the year. And I'm going to have to take the Steelers in this one as well. It would be dope if the Vikings could get done against Houston. And then, you know, we beat the Bengals. And then the Titans lose to the Steelers. And we're right back in the thick of things. That would be, <laughs> <laughs> that would be ideal for me. So I'm going to take... Pittsburgh in this one. Uh, Larry, who do you got? I'm I am gonna take the Steelers with this one. I think Lawan, like you said, being out's kinda tough, but I also think that COVID is playing a huge factor in this one. They won't be able to practice together as a team until Saturday, which they're not gonna be practicing Saturday when they have game day on Sunday. Mm-mm. If this game does not get flexed, uh, I think it's just too much easy for the the Steelers. They're they're too good. They're too put together. I love Casey Hayward, K- uh, Cameron Hayward up front. I think the Steelers are just good. T.J. Watts, goaded. David DeCastro and this offensive line has had allowed seven yards per carry to backs each week. I think James Conner's going to have 150 yards and two touchdowns. They're winning. I the like Steelers. it. He's running really good, man. James Conner is a really good find for Pittsburgh. Cam, who do you got in this one? You know, this game was really tough for me to choose. Uh, you know, especially with Derrick Henry playing against Derrick Henry. Uh, you know, every time he gets more than 100 yards, they they win the game. That's a fact. So, you, I, I don't know if, it, if the Steelers' defense can hold them to 100 yards, but at the same time, I do feel like they can. So... I'm going to have to go with the Steelers on this one. I mean, when Saquon, week one before he was hurt, we held him to six yards. And he yeah. had like 12 negative plays. Yeah. This defense is legit. Like, it, I'm saying it is. Step on to it, and Cameron Hayward's Tyson always been Alu-Alu. there. Alu Alu's there. I mean, but just having that inner presence to mm-hmm. allow the pass rushers like Bud Dupree and TJ Watt to do the business that they do, that's putting them in Defensive Player of the Year candidates. All right, Wyatt, close off. All right, so, so uh, I just got to let it be known that it's uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Steel City, I'm going Pittsburgh. All right, That's pause. all I got to say. Big Ben City. Store so free. free. $5 charity of your choice. All right, keep going, Wyatt. Oh, I mean that 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 pretty much sum, sums it up. I mean, I don't I don't have anything very <laughs> special to say. Uh, <laughs> straight up uh I'm I'm riding with the old Ben Ruthless legend. Fair enough, fair enough. So right here we got a game where I want to I want to ask Colge because Colge made a uh, bold prediction last <clears throat> week that was you know pretty pretty lukewarm in the in the uh, sense of things. So we got the Cleveland Browns going up against the Dallas Cowboys. Colge, your lukewarm prediction of the week was Barn leaves the group chat now. My question to you for this game is, does Barn leave the group chat? I think that would be... Well, he didn't leave the group chat, didn't he? Yeah, he no. won, because he won. Yeah, and uh, I don't think he will, but I also don't think the Browns will pull it off. So he's leaving the group chat. I don't think he'll yeah, leave the group chat. Mike's still currently in the group chat. I don't, so think, I don't think Mike will pop... I don't think it'll get to Barn as much... 
but I'm going to choose the Cowboys. And Barnage does not lead the group chat. What's Do you it? think that's a bold take? I think that's, I bold think that's take. a huge bold take. What's, what's <laughs> the over-under on shit that Cameron and Mike give him? Ooh, well, man. Cameron, like, 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 I don't give him much. too much shit. Yeah. I don't give him too much shit. But when he starts unless it's against getting the Patriots. <laughs> yeah, unless, like, well, I mean, like, I do, but unless he starts getting, like, really pissed off, and then I kind of, like, I, can, I, I just kind of stop, but, like... Oh, Mike will, Mike will go Mike for Mike goes years. in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to... I think I'm going to have to just throw my hat in the ring and say that... Um, I'm going to be honest. I picked this to be my upset of the week. Bam, bam. No. Pick, picking the Browns. I don't think the Browns are that good. I think Dallas will shit down their leg. They will shit, piss, anything but come because they're not getting off <laughs> this easy this week. But the Browns destroy them in... Well, only defense and kickers. Fair enough. One of those games. That was a really good, really good uh, promo you sent there. And actually, I'm going to match your vibes because my upset of the week is also going to be Cleveland taking down the Dallas Cowboys. Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, 250 all-purpose yards. I could see it. Combined. It's definitely possible. Baker Mayfield throws 12 passes. And two of them are picks? One. Oh, only one. One pick. And it's a Jalen Smith for fantasy points, brother. Cameron, who do you got? You know, I'm definitely not going to choose the Browns on this one. I'm definitely going to have to choose the Cowboys. The Cowboys' defense is just... They weren't looking too bad against Seattle last week, so I'm going to have to go with the Browns this week. Well, the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah I was going to say. I meant the Cowboys. All right, Fitz, who do you got? I've been scorned by the Browns too many times. <laughs> too many. <laughs> no shit. Too many times over these years, so I will no longer allow it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the Cowboys. I don't care who's hurt on defense. I think Ezekiel will get it done. I mean, this Cowboys team kept up with Seattle last week, and he's on the MVP run, Russ is. Mm-hmm. So if anybody's able to keep up with that team... I think they'll be just fine. The Browns, they always disappoint. This is against a good team. This is when they will disappoint the most. When it's against somebody good, they won't look good. So I think it's just going to keep the platform going. The Browns are going to struggle again. And I think it'll be because they try to throw before they start the run. And then Baker, I'm thinking three picks. One's Uh, going to the house. No. Jalen Smith? No. No. Boo. All right, coming up next, we kind of got a little bit of an intriguing matchup. We got the Carolina Panthers and the Arizona Cardinals. That's I want you to make sense out of this one. Who do you got? This one's going to be a barn burner. You I think, think so? I think Teddy Bridgewater is going to give us a run for our money. We always we struggle against the Panthers. Panthers always kind of keep it close with us. I think Kyler's a fun show to watch. I don't think a lot of people are going to be able to stop him. He's just too athletic. But if he if he keeps making dumb turnovers, we will lose this game. I'm going to say the, Pan- the Cardinals sneak it out barely. I think it's going to be a, like a game-winning field goal in the fourth fourth quarter. Why who do you got? Uh I'm I'm also feeling Bryce's sentiment. Uh I think you know honestly uh I kind of think the Lions are kind of one of those uh always dog in the fight kind of teams, you know, so uh, I, in the back of my head, I did always, I did kind of think that the Lions could take it away from Arizona, but um, I'm, I'm thinking they bounce right back, Arizona does, and beats the Panthers. Fair enough, Cam, what do you got? Let's go with Arizona on this one, <clears throat> you know, uh, I agree with Bryce, it's going to be a close game, they're always a close game when they play. So I feel like it's going to be 2023. Cardinals get the dub. Colch. I think Kyler Murray, he knows that he let me down last week because I locked him. He's yeah. like, damn, you know what? I screwed Colge over, and but I'm not gonna. Hey, I'm not. I'm over. not gonna this week, and he's just gonna. He's gonna get some a, well, a dub, I guess, not some dubs, but he, he's gonna get a dub against Teddy Bongwater. He's gonna get it done against the Bongwater. So. I am going to take the Arizona Cardinals for the third. Star, Star Frame! $5 charity of 
Your choice. Simple. Kyler Murray's the second best quarterback to ever come out of his draft class. Yep, and, right behind Gardner. And he's, <laughs> I even admitted it to Gardner himself, so I'm, I'm on that boat. <laughs> face, face to face. So. Yep. And uh, the second star frame this deep into the video, so... Or the third, I should say. So, we'll see. Not very that. many, really. That's yeah. pretty good so far. Well, we'll see if any more uh, come rolling in. Coming up next, we got the Chicago Bears and the Indianapolis Colts. And, you know, I saw Nick Foles get that comeback victory against Atlanta, and I'm like, dog, why could you not do that in Jacksonville? Why could you not look that good in Jacksonville? But I'm going to take Chicago to win this one. I think it's going to be one of those close games that uh, Phillip Rivers inevitably throws away. Phillip Rivers kind of gets into these situations where he always throws that last-second interception, and it always... It always ends up bad for him. This Bears defense is good. I like David Montgomery. I think Nick Foles gets the job done this week. Wyatt, you're the Colts fan. What do you got? Uh, obviously, I think the opposite of that. I'm pretty <laughs> high on my team at the moment. We got a win, so the dope means rushing. But I don't think Foles is that great. He's not. He's not that great. And his uh, former coach is the head coach of the... Indianapolis Colts right now, so I'm thinking we have him scouted pretty well. Oh yeah, you can. River, Rivers is gonna keep it consistent. He's not. He's not gonna be shaky. It's not. It's not. It's because he's. You know, he's hot and cold. He's gonna be hot. He's gonna be hot tomorrow, hot, or not tomorrow, but uh, Sunday. And uh, that's when the tamales drop, and that's <laughs> when the uh, that's when the Colts get their dub, sir. All right, Cameron, what do you got? You know, this is honestly a tough game for me to choose. You know, um, I've been kind of high on the Browns all year this year, and I've been kind of, I've been glad about it. I mean, not the Browns, but the Bears, and uh, they they haven't done me wrong being three and zero. But uh, the Colts, you know, I'm liking them. I'm liking what I see, but I'm gonna have to stick with my gut feeling. I'm gonna have to stick with the Bears in this one. I feel like they're gonna be going to be in a four zero team. I never thought. Chicago is going to be 4-0 no. this season. Not in a million years. Fitz, who do you got? Uh, I think I'm taking the Bears no matter who's playing quarterback. I think this quarterback situation is much like the Tampa Bay Bucks when Fitz Magic and Winston were playing QB. I think either of them come in and will play, and that will happen multiple times where somebody will get pulled at halftime, somebody will come in. I think they're riding these – comeback wins that they keep doing I think they're going to get it done and I think it's going to be off a of Rivers pick I think it's going to be a Rivers pick 6 no, no <laughs> nah. that won't happen All right. I'm taking the Bears Colge, what do you got? I'm just saying, like, I feel like Big Dick Nick does this every time he's the backup every time he's always started at the, as the backup he always comes in and he always tears it up Big Dick Nick. I put $100 on him in that. Yeah, what? that game against the Saints. Yeah, yeah, I lost that. But um, I think he's going to get it done. And I think never in a million years would I thought I would say this, but the Bears are going to stay undefeated. Taking the Bears over the Colts. 4 no Bears, man. Never would I have thought that. That would be a sentence that came out of my mouth. Coming up next, we got the Ravens. And the dead skins. And honestly, I think this is one we can just rapid fire. I'm going to take the Ravens. Cam, who do you got? I'm going to take the Ravens on this one as well. Why? Who do you got? Oh, I'm going to take the Ravens. Fitz, who do you got? The thing is here, the Ravens, they came out slow against Patty Mahomes, just like I thought they would. But it's the Redskins. It's actually oh, the Washington Oh, the football My bad. Both of you said that yeah. wrong. Uh, it's happened, and I'm going to do it, and it's going to happen all year. Yeah. And like guess the what? The, the Ravens the names, are yeah. kicking their ass by 30-plus. And Colge? I think the football team is going to lose. I'm going to choose the Ravens. All right, and that is the fourth. Star, Star Frame. $5 charity of your choice. Yeah, that was that was one I had. I had almost no doubts about that one. Alrighty, and then, then this next one is going to be the Rams going up against the Giants. I feel like this one is kind of similar to the last one, but maybe not as decisive. Cam, who do you got? I have the Rams for this one. No, actually, no. Ooh. 
You know, I'm this is this is honestly a tough one. On my phone I have I have the Ram, I have the Giants, and I have no clue as to why I have the Giants. That was like me when I picked the over the Niners. <laughs> I, was like, I have no idea why I had that. But I'm gonna have to go with the Giants. I'm gonna have to go with the uh, I'm gonna have to go with the <laughs> fuck. I can't say I can't even say it. I'm gonna have to go with the Rams on this one. I'm gonna have to change my phone and go off the go on the Rams with this one. All right, Wyatt, what do you got? I'm also going the Rams. Short, sweet, to the point. That's that's who I'm going for. Fair enough. Uh, Fitz, who do you got? I'm taking the Rams. Daryl Henderson looked good in the running back, hundred yards and touchdown. Cooper Cup, Robert Woods. Tyler Higby. That's enough to get it done against the Giants, and they will. This is definitely a lock for the week, I feel like. A lot of people's lock. Just right, out there in general. I'm going to go to Colt. What do you got? I'm also going to choose Los Angeles. It's just too much. And I am going to also take the Rams for the fifth. Star, Star frame. frame. $5 charity of your choice. Like I said, I thought that one was going to be another star frame, but I thought maybe it'd be be a little bit more decisive. I thought the the Ravens and the football team was a little more decisive. Coming up next, we got the Chiefs and the Patriots. Not Brady versus Mahomes, but a hot Cam Newton who is getting paid less than Blaine Gabbard, I should say. Also, Cam, who do you got in this one? Uh, Blaine deserves it. <laughs> You know, I'm going to have to choose the Patriots on this one. Um, you know, uh, just, I'm liking what I'm seeing with Cam. I'm liking all this production they're, they're putting out. They're, they're the number one in rushing offense right now. They're the number one in possession. So they're rushing that ball, and they are holding on to that ball. They got the clock. They are the clock. They are pretty much controlling <laughs> it the whole entire time. And their pass rush defense Killer, probably the number two defense pass rush defense next to the Bucks. It is insane. I'm loving it. And the turnovers, rank number two. They're tied for number two actually, or for number one, with seven turnovers. And it's just that's insane. Gilly's on lockdown. Uh, J C Jackson's on is on lockdown. Jonathan Jones is locked down. I'm like I'm liking what I see. And and the linebackers that we picked up, Cooper and Bentley. Well, I would not picked up, but are second step uh, stepping up from from their uh, second uh, second place. So I'm just I'm liking everything I see. So I'm gonna have to go with the Patriots. And you know Gilly's gonna be on Tariq Hill if he starts burning people. I'm gonna have to take Kansas City. Um, I made a bold prediction about Kansas City going 16-0 and in my last video. And after seeing what they did against Baltimore, I mean, it's hard to it's hard to argue that. They're not going to go into any game where they're not the favorites, obviously. I do like New England. I love Cam Newton. Always will love Cam Newton. I think the Patriots have a lot of potential to do stuff in the postseason. And I think that's really what we're going to see with the Kansas City Chiefs and see what they can do there. Obviously, they proved they could do something, but, just, you know, where we're going to really see the Chiefs. Fitz, who do you have? I'm taking the Chiefs. I just think that, that like, the Patriots offense you can game plan for with Cam Newton. Like, much like the Seahawks, they knew what's going to happen on fourth and goal. They stopped him. I think that's what it's going to end up being. Like, it's Mahomes is a well-oiled machine, just like Russell Wilson. I think he's going to throw five TDs on this Pats defense, too. And I think... The Chiefs sneak out a dub against the Patriots. It's going to be extremely close, but it's. I think that Chiefs team just can't be stopped. Colt, what about you? And I made sure this was fine with you guys before the video, so I'm choosing the Patriots as my upset because I just have a feeling. Cam Newton gets dubs, man. He he's gonna have that towel on the end of his head at the end of the game on his head. He's no, gonna... he's not gonna have. He never has that towel on the top of his head when he wins. Dude, I don't know. When he wins, he's always jumping around. I've seen it on there a couple times after <laughs> some dubs. I'm just saying. Back in the Panthers days. Wyatt, what do you got? I am going with um, Super Cam Newton Ooh, to uh, knock Patty Mahomes off his block and uh, back to Earth. Fair enough. <laughs> if, if, if anyone can do it, it's the Patriots and Bill Belichick. That's true. Exactly. The superior coaching staff of Old Bill. Fair enough. So coming up next, we have the Bills going up against the Raiders. 
The Raiders put up a good fight against New England. Ultimately, towards the end, New England kind of pulled away. Uh, Fitz, who do you got? I'm taking the Raiders over the undefeated Bills. I think the Bills' offense is running really good. I think they're good. I think this is going to be a shootout. I just think Josh Jacobs does more. I think Daryl Henderson got 100 yards last week against the Bills when the Rams played him. I think Josh Jacobs is a way better back than him. I think he could do at least 150. He's going to get involved in the receiving game. 200 all-purpose, two touchdowns from Josh Jacobs. I think the Raiders sneak one off against the Bills. Why? What about you? Well, here's here's my bold prediction. So, the Raiders will not lose in Vegas. They will they will never ever lose in Vegas. So I'm thinking they're gonna they're gonna hit this Undertaker streak, right? They're gonna go like forty plus, <laughs> fifty plus, like fifty five home team wins, at, as long as they're in Vegas. They got that shit. So you know. It is early on to make that claim, but I think it's gonna. I think the trend's gonna start. People are gonna start realizing once it's 10, 12. But you know, it's still early. So, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna say that's gonna be Raiders country. So Raider gets the dub. Can't win by. You know, this is a tough choice for me. Um, the Raiders were looking too snabby against the Patriots, but even against the Patriots, they're a dog team, so they looked pretty shitty to me at the same time. Um, but yet again, the Bills, they snuck out a dub against the Rams barely in the last closing seconds. So I'm going to have to go with the Bills, but not with the closing seconds, but with a good, good marge, with a good 10 points. All right, I'm also going to take the Raiders in this one. Josh Jacobs getting dubs. And also, by the way, Derek Carr, I've said a lot of bad things about Derek Carr. He's looking all right. I'll give him that. Derek Darren Carson. Waller's like a top five tight end, too. He's really been... We shut him down. down. Well, yeah. I mean, it's the Patriots. You guys are going to shut down their top offensive weapon that's not a running back. You're expecting to try to take out their top weapon. So, I just don't see that happening with the Bills. I don't think they're as good as secondary as the Patriots. So. Yeah. All right. And Cole, what do you got? I'm going to choose the Raiders. They're going to take down the undefeated Bills because I have a feeling... I got a feeling. No, no. We can't get copyrighted. Uh, that's we, true. We got to donate that money to charity. Sound too true. good. <clears throat> See, we're almost like the real thing. Exactly. Yeah, we're just as good. Better. Right. Better, exactly. Coming up next, we got the Eagles and the Niners. And before we get to this preview, of course, ultimately... My heart gets racing. racing every time. I think we're setting up another donation is what we're doing. <clears throat> no. Week four. Cold Sunday night! Ah, uh, man, I just haven't hit last two weeks. Dog shit. <laughs> oh, you know, you know, Whoa, it's Sunday Just like night. this game, man. This game's going to be dog shit. I don't think this game's going to be very good either. But we got the Eagles and the Niners on Sunday night. We got an injured Niners team. We got the Eagles who are not looking too hot. Wyatt, what do you got? Eagles are ass. Niners are injury prone, but Eagles are ass. Who would you rather have? Would you rather have James Ellsworth or would you rather have Rey Mysterio? Rey Mysterio. I, I'm thinking Rey Mysterio. I don't care if he has. <laughs> I don't care if he's had nine knee, knee surgeries. I don't care if he's had fifty knee surgeries. He's a lot better than uh, James Ellsworth, and he's going to hit the six one nine. He's going to get the one two three, and that's exactly what's going to happen with my boys. The Niners. The Niners. Okay. Exactly. Cam, pretty good. You know, I'm going to have to go with the Eagles. For the upset. Ooh, fair enough. Safe upset pick of the week, I'd say. That's who you got. I think the Niners are going to beat him by 27. Jeez. 27. <laughs> Jeez. I don't care if it's Jimmy G or Nick Mullins. That offense is going to be running like a steamroller. They're going strong. I think 250 plus rushing from the whole running back committee. I think George Kittle comes back, 100 yards and two touchdowns. He has been absent since being hurt by the Cardinals. I'm sorry. Sorry. Er, er, no, not really. <laughs> kind of. At least he's not out for the year like the other guys. But I think the Niners get it easy peasy. All right. And Cole, should we go? I'm choosing the Niners. I think it's just going to be too easy. I think you guys are really high on Nick Mullins. I'm going to take the Eagles. I'm 
say Miles Sanders has 150 yards. Wow. I'm going to need that for fantasy. <laughs> oh, God. And Monday night, we got the Packers. We got the Falcons. Falcons can't keep the lead. I'm going to keep mine short and sweet. I'm taking Green Bay to be Atlanta. Wyatt, who do you got? Um, well, uh, honestly, this is probably the easiest Sunday night game and Monday night game picks I've, I'll probably ever have to make this year. And yeah, I am 100% going with my, my startup team, my, uh, my child, my childhood football team before I, because I was indoctrinated early <laughs> by some cheese heads. I'm going to have to go with, um, the Green Bay Packers with Aaron Rodgers leading a dominant win. And it is going to be my lock for the week. Fair enough. Can't yeah. we got? No, I'm going to have to go with the Packers on this one there. Almost too easy. Fed to the got. I'm taking the Packers, and it's my lock of the week as well. I just think Packers are running just the MVP race. Russ versus Rodgers. It's on. I think they're both going to see the bench this week, both Russ and Rodgers. I think Russ. Rodgers will it's be out by... early in the season. No, Love will be playing in the fourth quarter because Rodgers will have a dominant win over this Falcons team. They're demoralized. We've talked about this week after week. They lose. They've been playing good, but they continue to lose heartbreakers. They're done. And this is a, uh, this is a put-together playoff team. I think Zendarius Smith gets three sacks and puts himself up there in the sack race. Alrighty, Colts caps off. I'm choosing uh, Green Bay. All right, for the last Monday night of the game of uh, and for the last game of the night, we have our final star, star frame. frame five dollar charity of your choice. And with that, we end our week number four picks. And we can see the trend of the videos getting longer and longer each week. This one a little bit longer than last week as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And before we leave, Wyatt, you got any last words? Um, not for much. Uh, I'm, I'm really I was glad to be a part of this podcast this week. Hopefully uh, the uh, invitation is always there to, uh, to join you next week. And I would love to do it if that's on the table. Uh, at this moment, I would like to plug my my one video YouTube channel, The Next Big Jobber. It's got a song that I heard on MySpace back in 2005. I, 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 th I found it on the internet, downloaded it, uh, did all the work, uploaded it, just because I liked it and I thought it was cool. But I have that one song. If you go on that channel... You like the video and subscribe <laughs> I would be very appreciative and if not don't fucking worry about it that's fine <laughs> anyway uh, thank you Trevor for allowing me to be on this podcast and I hope to see you in the future yes sir Cameron any last words no I can't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to say good night Larry what about you have a wonderful fucking week, everybody. Cool. Like Cameron said, I have nothing to top that, so just have a good rest of your day. And if you don't subscribe to the next big jobber, at least to subscribe to us here at Tree Tops. Hell yeah. If you don't chew big red gum, then you can have a glass of milk. <laughs> Yeah. Alrighty guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys haven't already, you can check out the links down below. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks, follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks, or follow me on Instagram at Trey Von Pixley. Also don't forget you can hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel three days a week. Nobody outworking me. Those are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.